that's half the question done. What's the other half asking us to do? Have a read. Right. Determine the function. Determine the function in the general form. But why don't we just determine the function in the form that we're comfortable with? Are we more comfortable in the general form or the gradient form? I'm personally more comfortable in the gradient form, correct? So why don't we determine the gradient form of that function? So what do we need to do? Yeah. So we, yeah, let's find our gradient first of all. So I'm just going to run this out so we can see clearly what's going on. So you said you want to find your gradient, correct? How do we do that? Uh, m equals x2 uh, x2 take x1 over y2 take y1. Oh, the other way around. Yeah. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. What points do we know on this graph? We know that when x equals negative 1, what's y equals? 4. So we can call that 2. Why do we call that point 2? So we've got 4, negative 1. What would be my value for y1 there? Thanks, Samantha. Yeah. 1, and my value for x1 would be what? Thanks, Kevin. What would be my value for x1? x1 would be What? If this is my point 2, and this is my point 1. x1? Yep. It is just 2, yep. So that gives me 3 over negative 3, which means my gradient equals negative 1. Now I could look for my y-intercept here. I know what's my y-intercept going to be? 3 3, okay? I can see that by the graph. Let's say it wasn't a nice clean number. Let's try a process that works for any number. So number two is I need to find my find my c value. I know my gradient. Do I know an x value? Do I know a y value? What do I do if I know three things and don't know one thing? I need to rearrange to get c by itself, correct? So I write my equation out. Y equals negative one x plus c. Let y equal. Let x equal. What should I let y? Why don't I pick a point that I know on that graph? What point do I know? I know that when x equals, let's say negative one, what is y equal? 4, correct? Am I okay in saying that or not? So now I've got 4 equals negative 1 times negative 1 plus C. Hayley, what do I do now? Um, Which is? 1 plus C. Now what do I do? Minus one from both sides, correct? Cancel the ones out. C equals four minus one, which is three. Now I've got all my unknowns. My equation comes to the form y equals negative x plus three. So how do I get that to general form? Let's check. What's the difference between general form and, and gradient form? Harry? There's more than two variables. Yeah, there's more than two variables. What have I got on one side of the equation? A zero. A zero. 
How do I do that here? Okay. I could take y, couldn't I? So I would have minus y on both sides, and I'd get 0 equals negative y minus x plus 3. I could do that, yes. What else could I do instead of if I, want, if I wanted to do it differently? Add the negative x and the side. Yep, so I could have added x and subtracted 3 from both sides and taken it to the other side. Cool. So it doesn't matter which side the zero is on. If I was doing this for myself, does that look very nice? Or would we rather make those values positive? Positive. Positive, so I'd probably take it from the other side, but your answer's still correct. Cool. Nothing wrong with your answer. I just like to do with positives because I make mistakes with negatives. Are we good? I know that's a lot of information. I know it's day two, and your brain's probably still four weeks away from functioning. <laughs> One last thing. I want you to look at question B, 2B. What's the difference between 2B and 2A? One difference, just when you look at it. Right. I remember the word for it that we've got on there, but um, A is going to be negative. Yeah, that's one, one key difference. Yes, yeah, so you've got a positive gradient question B. What else, Tom? Oh, we don't have the coordinates. You don't have a set coordinate. That's good. You haven't got a set coordinate. What else is different? There's arrows in the end. Arrows in the end. What do the arrows mean? It's going to keep going forever. Guess what the range of domain is going to be? Any set of real values, correct? So if you want to be lazy with your domain and your range, you can either write negative infinity. Why isn't it equal with infinity? Can you ever reach infinity? That's why. Okay. Alternatively, you could write x. What does that mean? What do you reckon the R stands for? For those of us in specials, maybe. All real numbers. Very, very good. So if you're feeling lazy, you can just write that. Which just means every number. Cool. I'll leave you a bit of time. We are going to come back and have a chat, so I'll give you a bit of time to have a go to B by yourself.